Would you like to learn how to create a Facebook cover photo in Canva that is perfect for your page? Inside today's video, I'm gonna show you not only how to create it, but how to make sure it's optimized for video and how you can use your cover photo to generate leads for free. Take a look. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. If you are brand new to our channel, welcome. We're glad you're here. What we're all about is helping real estate agents just like you market their business, generate more leads, set more appointments, close more deals. So if that's what you're after, this is absolutely the place to be. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as part of our community. Now, before I get going in today's video, just one quick note down in the description below, you will find a link to our free two-hour masterclass for Facebook. Inside that free two-hour class, we're going to show you all of our best practices of what we do to generate leads, set appointments with those leads, and turn that into business. So if you're interested, go check that out. Two hours of your time well spent, and uh, you'll learn how to generate some business there. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of today's video, which is creating a Facebook cover photo. We want to make sure that the photo that we, or the cover photo that we generate is going to be optimized so that it looks great on both desktop and mobile. And we also wanna make sure that we've got some strategy in place to be able to use that to help generate some leads for our business for free. So with that in mind, let me go ahead and share my screen and uh, we will go ahead and jump right in. Now, this is a Facebook page that I use just for, for training purposes and doing demonstrations. So the cover photo is this long rectangular one. Now, if uh, one of the main tools that I love for design, and it's part of uh, today's video, which is Canva, and part of the reason I love Canva is it's just really user-friendly, and it's a fantastic way to um, create images and those kinds of things. So canva.com, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I use it pretty much every single day in my business, and uh, there is a free account, which is going to be perfect for most of you. Um, however, there are some advanced features that are pro features if you want to you know, pay for that, feel free, but it's up to you. Um, I do pay for the pro account just because I'm, I'm a marketing agency. I use this a lot and uh, some of those pro features I do use pretty much uh, every single day. So with that, you'll notice that if I come into Canva and I click on create a design, I can just start typing Facebook and you'll see one of the options here is a Facebook cover photo. Now, the problem is, is if you select this one and you use this as your cover photo, even though it says that it was a cover photo and the dimensions were optimized for that, it just won't look right. So like if I just drag this image over here and uh, just download this just to kind of show you, it won't look quite right. So I'm just going to call that test so that I know what it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image here and I'm going to save it, FB cover demo. <clears throat> and so the problem is, is you'll notice that they're two different dimensions, right? So if I go here and I just look at, this is the one that we just created in Canva. If I go to the properties to look at the dimensions, see how it's 1640 by 924? The reason why that's a problem is the other image that was there that was properly formatted if I go and look at the dimensions of that one, you'll notice that it's 820 by 312. Again, very, very different. So again, the problem is, is if I take that one that I just designed in Canva that it said was the proper dimensions, um, and I upload that photo, um, I called it test, there it is. See how that image is way too big? For that space and so what I've just designed it doesn't look right and so that's the problem with it it's not going to fit this space well so you've got to realize that your first step in creating your your uh, Facebook cover photo inside Canva is you can't use the template that they provide right here because the dimensions are wrong so what you're going to do is you're going to come down to custom size and where you can type in what kind of dimensions you want. Now you'll notice I've used this recently because this is the proper dimensions for your cover photo. So it's 820 by 312, okay? So you can just go ahead and hit that, create that design. 
And so now the space that we have, this is the proper space. So whatever I design in this space is going to look perfect. Now there's all kinds of things that you can do. I'm gonna show you how to create one of the templates that I love to use and how I do it very quickly. So one of the first things I'll do is I will go to elements and in the elements section, there is the grids. And the first one that I like to use is this one where it basically takes a third of the image for or a third of the whole thing for one image here and then two thirds for the rest here. So that's the one that I, I typically like to use. Now, I also um, like to turn on um, like the grids and stuff. So um, I'm trying to remember where that is. It's been a little while. There we go. So up here under file where it has show rulers. So part of the reason why I'm pulling this up and showing you is because what we're formatting here is exactly what it will look like on a desktop. So this is proper for a desktop. Now with a, with a mobile device, if people are viewing your cover photo on a mobile, it picks the same image, but because it's got less space, it's gonna crop a little bit off of each end. So it's gonna crop 90 pixels on each end. You can see that this is 100, so 90 pixels is gonna be about right here. So from right here over will not be visible on a, on a desktop, or excuse me, on a mobile. And then same thing here. Um, since I have this set at 820, if I go 90 pixels the other way, that is going to be 730. So here's 750, 740, 730 about right there. Well, that's 725. So about 730 right there. So from here over, that will also not be visible on a mobile device. Okay, so again, <clears throat> the number is 90 pixels on each side. That's what you're kind of planning on. So with this template, the nice thing about this is it just allows you to drag photos into that space. Now you can go find photos that you have that you want. You can pull in photos from maybe some of your other listings or that. Um, make sure you're not using photos that are copyrighted. That's the biggest problem. Um, so I do pay for uh, the pro account on Canva, and part of what you get with the pro account is you get access to their photo library. So I can come up here and just type in house, and if I go to photos, these are all photos that I can use. And uh, you'll notice that some of them like have nothing on it, which means it's free, but then other ones have this little crown that says pro, which means you have to have a pro account or a paid account to use that one. So they do have some in here that you can use for free. Um, and really, it's really just a matter of putting in some pictures here that you think are going to you know, be captivating and, and stimulate people. So you could put in something like that or, um, you know, if, if that more floats your boat or maybe that does, um, you're kind of just picking an image that you think is good just for the sake of the demonstration, I'll use that one. You could use another photo of a house over here or an interior image or something like that. Um, one of the things I like to personally use this space for is I like to use it for something that's a little um, local in nature. So for me, I live in Utah. And uh, one of the things that is real big in our neck of the woods that a lot of people know us for is a lot of our natural parks and this arch. That is massively popular in Utah. And so if people see that, they know that I know <laughs> where I live and what's going on. And it's just something that they use to identify with you know, the locality. So I would recommend something like that. Then the next thing I like to do is I like to go um, to these uh, frames and with these frames you can pick different frames where you can stuff images in there um, the main one I like to use is this little circle and we'll just adjust the size of it a little bit right there um, I want to make it about a third of the entire width of the page and then I am just going to duplicate that and I'm going to pull it about right there and then I'm going to duplicate that one more time and um, I may stagger these just a little tiny bit. That looks good. So I would do something like that and I'm really just trying to cover up that white, that white frame divider in between the two um, 
in between the top and the bottom. There's a reason I'm leaving a little gap here, which you'll see in a second. And then now that I've got these, I can just grab some photos and plug them in. So again, I could go find a picture of a kitchen, right? So if I find a photo of a kitchen that I love, I can just pull that in. That looks nice. Um, I can pull up like real estate. And I might get like a picture of an agent working with some people. I can pull that in. If you have your own photo of you working with people, maybe you pull that in. Um, and I can also just put in like a feel good picture, like a family. Um, uh, you know, a family in a house, something like that. That looks uh, nice. All right, cool. So I've kind of got the framework of what this is going to look like. Um, I'm then going to go back to on the elements side. There are these lines and shapes. I'm going to pick this square and I'm going to put that in the corner. <clears throat> I'm going to extend it all the way across the length of that. And then I'm going to make sure that that covers up that top portion of that white mark, which is um, part of the reason why I did this. Okay, I'm going to move that back a little bit just so that picture is on top of it. And that looks about right. And then what this does is it allows you to have some space to be able to have an, uh, some text or you know something like that. So if you have a slogan or a phrase or something like that that you use with your business, that would be the perfect space for that. You can come over here to text, add in, um, actually I want to add in a heading. So if you had a, a slogan, this is where you put it. So I'm just going to put buy, sell, invest. Again, you can make it whatever you want to make it. I'm going to make that white so it stands out a little bit better on that bar. And then I'm just going to come up here. and kind of center it. Well, that looks okay. So you could do something like that. You could plug in a phone number, again, anything you want to do, but it just allows you to put in some text. I'm then also going to go back to the elements and use another, oops, use another one of those squares. This one I'm going to put in this corner. I'm going to take it up to the top of that bar and I'm going to drag it all the way over here. And then um, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to turn it white. I'm going to position it backward behind those photos and behind that bar. And then I want to make it a little bit transparent so that you can see that photo behind. I may go like 70 75%. That way, it's easy enough to still see that photo behind. But by doing that, it allows me to still be able to type on top of it. That's why we do that. So here I would go in and throw in a brokerage logo, right? So again, um, this is part of compliance. A lot of times you are required to put that. And then I want to make sure that I'm aware of that 90, um, that was 90 pixels on either side. So again, that 90 pixel is going to be about right there. It's going to cut off right about here. So I've got that positioned where I should. And then I would add some text just to say something like, um, search all, I might type, capitalize that, all available homes on our website. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of positioning this so that um, I can start generating some leads and opportunities for free. So people are going to see that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some arrows on here pointing downwards. So again, I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to type out arrow. And I'm basically just looking for an arrow um, that's going to point. So I might use that one. And with that, instead of being white, I want that arrow to be red, capture people's attention. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to shorten that up and rotate it and then I want it even smaller and again just thinking of what I'm doing is I'm putting some arrows 
like this, pointing to this call to action button. This is what I can generate leads for free is I can set this button up to go to my website, to have an incoming phone call. I can set it up to do different things. But the purpose of my cover photo is I want to draw people's attention to it so that they realize it's there and it gives them a reason to click on it. So I might put two or three of these down there, uh, kind of like that. Uh, again, thinking about that space that's about right here that's going to get cut off on a mobile and about right here uh, as well. Right. So with everything that I've got inside there, it's going to be visible and look great on both a mobile and a desktop. So I'm basically done. I'm just going to go ahead and download that. And now that I've got that done, let's just go ahead and upload that, um, which is right there. and see how it just looks absolutely perfect that is what we want to create so that is how you can create a killer um, cover photo inside canva for your facebook page that is optimized for both mobile and desktop and that will help you generate leads for free just by putting some arrows pointing out to that and, and letting people see that that call to action button is there. So that is what I would recommend for creating a fantastic cover photo for Canva that will, again, get great results for you. It's going to look fantastic and uh, highly, highly recommend it. So that is today's tutorial. Hopefully that was helpful on how to create a killer Facebook page cover photo inside Canva that is optimized and will generate leads for free. So if you found that valuable, take a split second, click that thumbs up button down below. That is a signal to YouTube that you like the content, that it was helpful, and we appreciate your time in doing that. So if we helped you help us in return, we appreciate that. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. You can click on the subscribe button down below. Right next to it, there is a bell notification. If you click on that, you will be notified every time we put out brand new content. And we put out brand new content like this every single week. So uh, that is it. If you're curious about the services that we provide where we do your marketing for you, then down in the description below, you will find a link with more information there. Feel free to go check that out. But that is it. That's today's video. Make it a great week. Keep crushing it in your real estate business. As always, if we can help, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you on the next video. Take care.